Hi, I'm Vidya Sagar. Mm. Coming into this uh, leadership stage has given me an idea to look beyond a close boundaries. Because what happens is, I work as an HR and marketing manager and also as a freelance soft skill trainer. Also, I am looking out for an alternate job for myself. I mean, so, I teach people on how to find jobs. But when it comes to me, the practical difficulties become more. Because what we generally teach, okay, post your uh, resume onto the job portals or attend job interviews, for example, for freshers, attend campus placements. But the real complexity is not in that. It is about what USP, it's the universal selling point, what you carry for yourself is going to matter a lot. Because when college comes for campus interviews, what problem really happens is they are time bound. Companies will have to interview 1000 candidates and select 500, 600 or at times 10, 20 within a day's time or at times 6 hours, 7 hours. So what happens is they have to filter a lot of people because they cannot interview each and every candidate. So what happens is they cut down based on marks. Then they cut down on how you perform into particular group discussions and particular interviews. So there your uh, curriculum vitae or your resume alone cannot be a selling point for you because how many of your resume is being actually viewed is the biggest question. That is the biggest challenge because we cannot make the interviewer look. It is not justifiable on our part also because they are time bound. So we cannot make the interviewer look into each and every resume of yours because it is all and at the max three or four A4 sheets and all black printed. So it makes no difference to him. What difference it makes is the presentation ability. And how could my presenting skills could be justified? Because right away, being a fresher, probably for me, being an experienced person for two and a half years, I cannot share all my two and a half years of experience, all the work that I have done in this two and a half years within the matter of five minutes given to me and that also being interpreted. And you know, I am interrupted and I am being interpreted. This is the biggest challenge of face to face interview today. Also, for the freshers, they don't have so much of experience, and all the projects that they have done, or the four years of education that they have gone through, they cannot orate in the given stipulated time because they are all they are being judged is based on the loopholes on their resume and how they analyze for the situation and the company is only looking out if you are becoming employable you know because today employable candidates are only 25 percent are you at least being able to convert it to an employable candidate is what companies is looking so job interview has become a luck factor these days now we are looking out for a job and it has become a luck factor that is the problem now when you come into video resumes same thing happens with the job portals also we cannot complain and also a lot of job portals make it a business for them it's business so hardly all these free resumes that we upload are being analyzed only when you go on a premium user account your resume is being answered so what happens is you need to create your own self analyzing and selling point to sell yourself you should know what are the benefits i have because when we sell a camera when we sell a washing machine when we sell an equipment we tell the merits we tell the benefits of what it has and when we have to sell ourselves because job market is nothing but selling ourselves we are the product to the customers which is the organization so we need to know we need to analyze our trend we need to understand what is the benefits of me what is the merits of me i am sure this is going to take a lot of time because it is not easy we are tend to google everything if we don't know we just go google inside but we don't know what we want we cannot google it in the computer google it inside google it find it and groom your skills understand what is my dream analyze what you are good at create your dream and go behind it to go behind it rise your standards Groom yourself on that scale and understand this takes a lot of time. I am sure it is a painful substance because Rome is not made in a day. Similarly, all the skills those experienced people have obtained today, they are not obtained in a day's time. It has taken a lot of time. It has taken a lot of hardships. It has uh, They have fallen into pitfalls. Life is not a bit of roses. It's a road of thorns. So it has taken time for that. But at the end of the day, I am realizing my dream is the biggest satisfaction that we get because today 
Everyone is job seeker. Don't be a job seeker. Instead, be a career seeker. Understand what you want. Realize what your dream is. Go behind it and live your dreams. That is what could give you that satisfaction. And that is what this process does. Because mere CV cannot give you the enough time to, you know, uh, explain your feelings, explain your dreams to the interviewer. Similarly, they also do not have enough time. But then a video CV puts in your complete knowledge. It also gives you an opportunity to understand because when, whatever you are going to explain, you should be thorough about it because you own every single word you do. Because uh, when you do it with a CV, probably you can do Control C, Control V. Someone prepares the CV and everyone copy paste. But here, nothing. Everything is original. You are original. So your originality is being analyzed and that gives the opportunity and that makes you realize your dreams and live it.